Hello, this is Mark Gubuan, and I wanted to shoot a quick video tutorial on personalizing a an uh, an email template so that you can appear to be more professional. Because uh, a lot of times when people are out here online, they'll run into an issue where they just look like a newbie, <laughs> and it really sucks because it's really difficult in the beginning if you look like a newbie to really prove to people that you are a leader and an expert when you know your your email templates you know the emails that you send out are just you know kind of sloppy and, and that kind of thing so what I want to do is show you a, just a quick template uh, you know anything you can you can customize this in any way this is really just the whole principle of what I'm trying to teach here so the first thing that I want to do uh, is insert a table and when you insert the table really this is what it'll look like right you'll have this table uh, what you can do is just do like a uh, one row or a, you know do a two a three row one column table and that's what it'll look like right and then what you can do is space columns evenly auto fit to contents I would just space it evenly and the appearance is default options border color here we go so the border width you know if it's 20 pixels it's gonna be real thick right so you know pick a reasonable thickness that that's still a clean look and you know you can do your make your border color to match you know where they're coming from so if they opt in from your blog think about what your blog colors are and match that you know uh, match that color to, to your to your template you know and it'll it'll make things look a lot more congruent and that's really the idea here uh, and you want to make sure that when you uh, choose your background color you might want to just stick with white because if you make things a little too crazy looking you know people are gonna get a little turned off by what you're what you're what you're giving them so you want to keep that in mind now what then you want to do is hire a graphic designer or create your own image I created my own image uh, on um, I created my own image on um, on PowerPoint and that was very very easy for me to to do uh, so I actually don't know my URL here so let me just open something up real quick here probably should have did this before I uh, started the tutorial but let me just pull something up here um, email template. Um, there we go. so what I'm what I was doing right now is I'm pulling the UR the header URL so basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to insert my header into my email. So we'll probably want to shrink this down a little bit because this is an email and I don't want this to be too dominating. I do want it to be in there but I want it to be dominating. Uh, okay, so you know this URL is where I actually uploaded this picture for my uh, my blog um, and the email header I formatted it in a way that it was gonna fit on my particular template so after you insert that as you can see right away that plain template suddenly has the appearance of looking a little bit more professional 
So what you want to do is select the image, center it, make sure it's centered, and suddenly you have a more professional email, right? So at this point, you know, you've suddenly branded the email. It's not just a text email now, this HTML. There are some people that send just text, and a lot of gurus still send text emails, which is totally fine. And that's because of deliverability. They have huge lists with deliverability, you know. And personally, you know, I want HTML in my emails because I want to look as professional as possible. And this is a great way to accomplish that goal. So in here, this is where you put your body, right? So you want your title, you know, your content here, you know, and then down here you'll want a signature. And for me, uh, I like to insert um, my a Y stamp signature. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit of magic here. So. Because I'm not sure the new version of Y stamp doesn't allow you to insert uh, from this little button down here. I'm not sure why, uh, but I used to be able to just to click this, hit insert, and then it would pop up a Y stamp signature there. Now the only way to do it is to right click in the HTML, and Y stamp doesn't recognize this HTML editor uh, as a place to insert the. The, you're not getting a selection when you right click on it. So I have to do a little bit of magic here and I'm going to insert my, so I'm, I'm at my email, I'm just going to insert my business, um, my business signature, click edit in HTML and now I have the HTML right here. So I hit copy and in here you'll want to go click down to source and in between TD which is table data you want to click and insert your Y stamp info and there you have it it is in there so um, there you have it that's how you get this template going um, a little bit of uh, some some magic here that that you might not realize is that uh, marketing success is that you can actually turn this into H1 tags. And why is this important? Because Google spiders are everywhere. Let me show you something real quick. If you type in keyword MLM site colon aweber.com well this is pulling in all of the aweber broadcasts that have the word mlm in it see this is an aweber broadcast you see how they have their particular headline here and it's definitely branding them so here's this is how you spy on people who use Aweber or get response or whatever, you can find their broadcast. So uh, I know Traffic Voodoo is a uh, is a hot promo right now. Well, now what you've done is you can see what people are blasting out regarding Traffic Voodoo, right? People can't hide from you, you know, you can get on people's lists without actually being on their lists. So, you know, this unstoppable traffic, let's see what this is, who this is, right? Uh, and this person's pretty new to their, with their list, but this is what they're sending out. Anyways, the whole point of that was if you have the H1 tag, when somebody does a search like this, you will come up a lot more quickly. Uh, you know, and, and you could use the H1, H2, H3 tags throughout your email, and I suggest you do something like that. 
Okay, so yeah, just a quick note why Stamp is having some issues. There are actually um, images here that should show up where people can actually click and contact you by clicking on those links. But anyways, that's not happening. So um, now you have a template. So you know this is just a real basic template. Okay, if you hire a web designer, they can get the background images for you behind the uh, behind the table. They can, you know, create a table that has like three dimensions to it, you know, so it kind of looks like, you know, a piece of paper or whatever it might be, right? They can, they, you can get graphic designers to create the graphics for that, uh, and, and and you can get that as a template. But you know, for now, this is a basic template. It immediately brands your brands your emails uh, instantaneously, and now suddenly you look a lot more professional. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you like my secret tip inside, and I will talk to you on the next video.